Welcome to Midwest Ground Covers at our Virgil Nursery. I'm Mike Kruger, the Virgil Nursery Manager, and we have begun our covering process for the 2020 winter. Um, what you're seeing here right now is our four mil one year poly. Um, each year we, we roll it up at the end of the season so that we can reuse it. Uh, so we get about three years on average out of the poly before we have to reuse it or we, we cut it into doors that'll cover this side of the house. So the way the process works is they'll unroll the poly along the side of the house and then three guys on each side will pull it over and then they'll take these one by two lath boards and nail them in with double headed nails so that in the springtime it's easier to pull off and we can uncover quite quickly. Um, each house takes about five minutes from start to finish. And then along the edge here, what they'll do once the last boards are on is they'll run string along the side and staple it in. So it's just string and staples. Uh, it's a UV resistant string, so it doesn't degrade over the winter. Uh, we don't want the, the string blowing off. Then another crew will come through and they'll actually put string back and forth over the top of the house to keep the, the plastic taut. And that's one of the reasons that we're able to reuse the plastic because it doesn't flap as much in the wind. One of the things that we've implemented out here in Virgil is actually using pneumatic tools. So they're using a, a pneumatic a nail gun uh, that we get through a, a company out in Sycamore, Ample Supply, and then a, a staple gun that it's also pneumatic. And then they're running gas air compressors to, to run those tools. All right, so just talking about the doors a little bit. So we'll, we'll basically make half circles to cover the ends of the houses. Uh, the doors will go on. We want everything sealed up basically just right before Thanksgiving break. Um, that seems to be when the, uh, the random snowstorm seems to come through. Um, one of the things that we'll do throughout the season is actually peel the doors back, the, just the top half, so that ventilation can occur. Um, what we found is the plants don't so much die so much because of the cold, but more so because of the temperature fluctuations of it getting too warm during the day and then too cool at night. So on a, a balmy winter December day, these houses can actually get up to 70 degrees in there. So our goal is to try and keep it as cool as possible so there's not as much temperature fluctuation. And the doors will actually be put on with string and staples as well. So what they'll do is they'll just pull the, pull the string, pop the staples off so it just flaps down. And then when we got to reseal back up, they'll just run the string back up and restaple it. We have so, uh, just around, thir just above 1,300 houses out here in Virgil that we need to cover. Uh, majority of them are the single poly, uh, the four mil white uh, that we get from our, our sister company, Midwest Trading. But then there are a portion of the houses of roses and macrophyll hydrangeas that we put two layers of plastic over uh, with an inflation fan. And it's the same, same plastic. Uh, and still from our sister company Midwest Trading, but um, because those are the more tender shrubs, we'll, we'll double cover those with the, with the air insulation. And then we'll actually put straw around the base of the house to stop any drafts from coming in. Cool. We normally start covering uh, some of our large, more difficult houses first week of October. Um, then this year we actually took a, took a break uh, because temperatures were so warm. Um, ideally, we'd like to cover everything just in November, but because we have over 1,300 houses we have to cover, just to get it done in time, we have to start now. So yes, it's not ideal, but to get the whole process done, we do need to start, start now around the second week of October. Um, and then anywhere from, from March into April, we'll start taking plastic off, and it just depends on the, the temperature and how much snow is along the sides of the houses. Um, we'll usually start with the evergreens and then after our last frost free date is when we'll actually take everything off the the roses and the macrophylla hydrangeas just to keep those a little more protected. 
So thank you again for joining us out at Virgil today to see how our covering process goes. Uh, if you need poly, please uh, visit our sister company, Midwest Trading, and they can supply you with all your poly needs.